Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. I cannot wait to introduce my new stencil collection to you all. I've had some trouble though coming up with an intro, so I thought I'd use AI for the first time. So I don't know if you've heard about this, but apparently AI is really coming along. Our future AI overlords are currently in their infancy stage, it's so cute. And they can help us small-minded humans do work we're just not good at. All for free in exchange for a few measly data points. I mean, what could go wrong? Well, I'm not good at sales, so I thought I'd use AI to make an infomercial for my new mandala stencil collection. So, I gave it a few of these prompts. Number one. Tell the people how mandala shapes are super helpful and fun to use. Number two, show examples of art made with them. Number three, and this might be a big ask, but can you make it look like one of those snappy classic infomercials like the slap and chop or like the clapper or like that vacuum that sucks and cuts hair? But also listen, my audience is sophisticated. So number four, it has to be classy, okay? So make the voice be a gentleman with like a smooth British accent. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think that's gonna do it. So now let's just throw all this into the matrix and see what comes out the other end. Are you intimidated by a blank white canvas? Do you find drawing endless circles and temporary guidelines to be a colossal waste of time? How about when you draw one side of a shape easily, but then the second side is all wonky and messed up? Are you tired of wasting money on French curves, templates, and protractors that just don't work? Say goodbye to all your mandala drawing problems with the new mandala shapes collection. These handy little stencils allow you to draw all the shapes you need easily. Draw petals, ellipses, leaves, hexagons, circles and OGs. They even work on curved surfaces like mugs, stones, and Christmas balls. Laugh out loud I just said balls. These even work on incredibly large and intimidating canvases. Stop struggling with the unfun stuff and get straight to the painty bits with the new Mandala Shapes collection. Available now only at the Dotting Center. Wow. Yeah, AI nailed it. That's gonna be hard to follow. So here it is. This is the Mandala Shapes Design Collection. This is a pack of stencils, six different designs, each with multiple sizes. So you're able to use these on objects that are small all the way up to really, really big uh, objects. So let me open this up. Each pack comes with an instruction booklet, so it'll tell you um, some of the tips and tricks, um, as well as you know different designs that you can get using different dividers, which is so important. Um, if you're just using one kind of divider, I think you're missing out on a really fun thing that you can add to uh, your next mandala design. You can use these also in rows. So you can use them around objects, which I'll show you in a bit. And then you can also combine them with other shapes. So you can use them with themselves or you can use them with the other stencils. And I will show you some examples. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and show you what, what shapes we're working with here. So the first very important shape is the petal. Uh, this is so used all over. It's a very common shape for mandalas. If you want to show flowers in your work, this is one that you would use all the time. Um, I used that stencil on this. This is just a, uh, I was starting off with a regular mandala pattern and then I wanted something a little bit different to help with my keep my swooshes in line and so I used this to in you know obviously I had it already divided out and then I just used this to go in and create those shapes 
And you can see that I was able to keep my design within the form of the petal, which uh, I think added a lot of interest to this piece. And it was something that would have been difficult if I had just used a compass. I wouldn't have had the uh, lines to help keep that all on track. So here's another example of a drawing, which I, I wasn't into drawing mandalas before, but I went on vacation and I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of painty art. And so I brought this, my dividers, and then this um, sketchbook. And I totally, I had the best time just making all different mandalas. This one's kind of fun. So this is a bunch of different shapes, but I would, can you see there's a bird and there's a flower and there's a bee? Can you see that it, that was kind of neat. That was fun. But you can see here the petals. I used the petal shape there. I used the petal shape here, see? And as well as the OG and some of the other ones I used on that one. But yeah, okay, petal, we all agree this is a good one. All right, moving on. How about the half circle or this, the semi, semi-circle, right? So I used this on this one, um, which finally I'm going to be able to give you a really good tutorial on how to make these. This is my favorite thing to make on Christmas. Um, but basically it's divide the bobble. And what I use to divide it is a strip of paper, right? And I use this in a video, which I will probably post up there or something, but you divide it first. And then once you have your divider lines, you go in with your stencil and it's so easy to connect those lines. See how you can just line it up with your lines, sketch it onto your bobble using a chalk marker or a chalk pencil, and then dot directly over those lines. Um, another thing that I used with this one, you'll see this shape. This is the ellipse, which is the next one. So you can see that I used that to get the exact curve. See, sometimes it's hard, uh, especially on a video, when you have something like this and you're trying to say, okay, you wanna come down uh, about this far and the arc has to be about that much, where really this is so much easier. You can just draw your lines just like that. Here's another example of one that's in process, uh, but you can see, okay, so here are the divider lines marked by those little crystals. Once you have your divider lines in, all you have to do is line it up. Line it up with the stencil. So you need three points. You need one here, here, and there so that you get it right and exactly the same all the way around. Now let's look at the leaf shape. So this is the leaf shape. It's a pointed arch. And this is also one that I use all the time. Here's an example of another bobble. You can tell I really, really love Christmas bobbles. But this was made super easy. Again, you start with the divider lines first. Make sure you divide it up. Again, I use a piece of paper and that's super easy. Once the line's in, then I just, you just come in and trace them on to your bobble. You, you can use small shapes all the way up to large ones. And the thing about these is they're transparent and flexible. So you can see the design as you're creating it, which is uh, totally a bonus. Okay, so the next one is, okay, these two, these last two are like 
Um, my two favorites, they're just kind of, I threw them in there because I knew I was gonna use them. I love a good hexagon shape. This one is, um, hexagons are just awesome for mandalas. This is an example of a tray that I made using um, a bunch of hexagon uh, pieces, wood pieces, and then you can just see how fun it is to paint within this shape. This is perfect for dotting, and uh, it's just uh, really, really fun. So you can use this to create a hexagon. You can also use it for chevrons, or you can use it, trace it, flip it, and make diamond shapes. So this one is gonna come in handy. This is a really fun shape. And then the last one, last but not least, probably, I don't know if it's my favorite, but one of them, it's the OG or arabesque shape. So this one is got S curves in all the right places. It's got a really nice point on it and then two arches along the sides. Um, you can make things like this. So this is a mug that I made that I just, I made this probably two years ago. And um, I love this mug. Love it, love it. It's so much fun to make this, but this was used using this template, as you can see. Again, you divide it with a piece of paper or whatever method you like. And then you can just use this. So I traced that side, did a row of those, and then flipped it, right? And traced this side. I don't know if you can see, right? So you would do each one of those shapes. And then the fun painty bits start right after that. Um, so this is a fun project. Here's another example of a bobble that I made with that stencil. This one's just like a prototype. I just wanted to see what this paint would look like on this bobble, but I think there's an idea here and I cannot wait to, uh, to figure this one out. A lot of times I'll make things and then just throw them in a drawer for two years and then finally finish them one day when I have an idea. So that's, that's gonna be one of them. Here is an egg, this cute little wood, wood egg that I picked up using that shape. Um, and you can see how you can trace this on an object and then design, once it's on your object, you can design, uh, so say I don't want those lines, I can just go over it with water and erase anything I don't want. But yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a fun one. I, Again, it's gonna sit and wait until I'm ready for it and then we'll revisit that one. Okay, so everything that I've done so far, everything I've showed you has been something small, right? Well, let me show you something bigger. Okay, so here you can see several different shapes. First shape that you see is the OG shape, which is right here. So you can see that I traced that there to get this top section. And then I used the petal right here to get that shape. Then I used the ellipse to create this shape right here. Oh, sorry, that's the circle. This is the ellipse, right? So that gave me that shape. And you basically work your way out all the way to the end here. Where I so I just wanted to pop in and show you the photo of the canvas right before I went to paint it. You can see there are minimal circles. I didn't really, I just used my quarter panel stencil. And then I was able to use those shapes on that form to give me a basic guideline and it was ready to paint at that point it was super easy coming together and also look at that super sweet doodle oh my goodness okay
back to it. Okay, so this is the new stencil collection. This is what I've been working on for the past year. The next video is gonna be this. We are going to sketch out in our sketchbook this mandala. I'll show you from pencil sketch all the way to pen and ink. If you don't have a sketchbook, I highly recommend it. It's so fun and easy to create different mandalas and um, it's just great to get some creativity points in for the day using that. So this is next week. I can't wait to share it with you. So get your sketchbooks ready. We're gonna get on that. And now comes the fun interactive portion of the video. This is where you vote on our next tutorial. So option number one, let's make this cute little mug together. This is a lot of fun. I'll share with you the paints, uh, start to finish, how to divide a mug, and we'll work in the round on a round object. So this is option number one. Vote down below if you want to do that project. Option number two, who cares that it's not Christmas? Let's make a bobble. So this is one of my favorite things to paint is a Christmas ball. Let's make this exact ornament. If you're into that, vote down below. So that's project number two. And then project number three, let's create a, uh, let's paint a wood pebble using these shapes. We'll do something similar to this one. Uh, so yeah, this would be option number three. So vote down below. Would you like to see a tutorial for a mug, a bobble, or a wood pebble? Let me know. I'm so happy to oblige. This was really fun, guys. I will check out the voting in, a, I don't know, a couple of weeks. I'll tabulate the results. I'll post it on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be the one that's counting those votes, but I cannot wait to see which project you pick. Stop struggling with the unfun stuff and get straight to the painty bits with the new Mandala Shapes collection. Available now only at the Dotting Center. Well, I hope that you guys find some time to go make some art because that is one of the most human things that you can do. And I also hope that you're not an accountant or a writer or work in retail in any way because y'all might need to pivot. Might be a good time to get a different job, but hey, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.